Hi there, and welcome to the Midweek Memo. The Starter's Gun has fired. It's the 1st of December and Advent is here. That means it's the moment where we officially go from discussing whether Christmas has started to actually starting Christmas. Well, sort of. I wonder how your Christmas has started. Have you remembered to open the first of the doors on your Advent calendar? Uh, if you have, why don't you share with us down below somewhere in the comments what kind of advent calendar you've got. Is it Cadbury's? Is it Star Wars? What kind of theme? We'd love to know. I wonder whether as you open your advent calendar, you also thought of reading the first of our readings in Advent. We're hoping throughout, the, uh, throughout December, from the 1st to the 24th, to read a chapter of Luke a day. Luke starts his account talking about Jesus' relatives. Zechariah and Elizabeth. They too miraculously conceive, and their son will be called John the Baptist, and they too receive an announcement from an angel. Now the angel says to Zechariah, he, that's John the Baptist, Zechariah's son, will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. John's job is going to be to get people ready for Christ's coming, the coming of God. Now I wonder, alongside getting prepared for Christmas, what does it look like to be prepared for the coming of Christ? Well, that's what Christians have thought about each year for a very long time in this period of Advent. Advent comes from the Latin word advenire, which means to come. It's all about Jesus coming, his coming that first time as a baby, and then his coming in the future, his second coming, when he will complete what he has begun. And actually thinking about Advent in those terms helps us prepare for Christmas in just the right way too. We too are called to prepare our hearts for Christ. Now, this year, that's gonna be quite a thing, isn't it? Christmas is already a challenge for many of us, and this year there are loads of extra questions. Is the office party gonna happen? Am I gonna be able to fly home? I'm sure you've got many other things that you're worrying about alongside all the usual worries of Advent. But we can be prepared for Christ. We can be prepared in our hearts for him. We can look for him to comfort us and guide us through whatever may come through in the next weeks and months. We can let the joys of Christmas lead us again to the joy giver, the one who provides them for us all. And we can let also the struggles, because there will be many, the struggles help us hope and trust in the one who one day will return and will restore this world perfectly as it is meant to be. Four notices for today. The first one is Luke in Advent. I already shared how as a church we're reading through Luke in Advent, and for many of us that will involve reading one chapter each day all the way up to the 24th. If you'd like to hear Luke read, we've got an opportunity to do that on a Zoom call each Thursday evening at 9 p.m. where all the chapters from that week will be read. Come and join us and perhaps light a candle, uh, put that on your Zoom profile there, and we'll be joined to get, joining together hearing God's word. The second thing to, to tell you about is our carol services, our Christmas and carol services. Now there's lots of information about these on our website, just a few things to highlight. These are a fantastic opportunity to share the good news of Christ with others, those whom we know. Our carol services by candlelight, carols by candlelight, and our Christmas Eve services are all going to be sign up required this year. Now the sign up for that begins tomorrow, Thursday, at 5 p.m. You'll find a link to that on our website. The third thing to tell you about is our Christmas market community event. That's happening on the 5th of December. This Sunday, it's gonna be happening from 11.30 in the morning until 3 p.m. in the afternoon. It's a fantastic thing to come together as a community. Too, there's gonna to be things to buy, uh, there's going to be uh, things to do, and there's going to be things to see as well. Fantastic thing to come and join us with. And then fourthly, just to give you a quick update on where we are with COVID. The government is changing its regulations, and so from now on we will be requiring masks to be worn inside our buildings at all times, not just during the singing of hymns. 
And of course, we're going to be thinking and listening carefully to whatever developments come our way, and we may be making adjustments in our programme in sympathy with those. We'll keep you updated. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah.